Hi, this is Deep Power, and this is straight from the newsroom. That would be right in here. Here's something today in the news that reminds me of the love boat. Remember the love boat, Captain Stubing? Oh, play the song, would you please? Anyway, something similar to the love boat. A fire apparently started on one of the love boats by a cigarette. You've heard about it today probably. Well, smoke spread throughout the entire cruise ship on the Caribbean early today. Killing one American, however, injuring 11 other people and damaging about 150 cabins. Can somebody please get gopher? The Star Princess was en route from Grand Cayman to Jamaica when the blaze started about 3 a.m. Why do fires always start at like 3 o'clock in the morning? Always from a damn cigarette, too. I'm serious. Richard Riffledge, 75 of Georgia, collapsed and died on deck after seeing the smoke and flames. Talk about scared to death. The victim's wife, however, was taken to a hospital in Montego Bay. Here's news right out of the, right down the road from where I am right now. I'm in Georgia. This is out of Decatur, Georgia. You may have heard about this. At a grand opening of a Walmart. Mm, boo for Walmart. Walmart had opened in a black suburb of Atlanta, and the civil rights leader, Andrew Young, danced with store clerks, bouncing to the song, We Are Family, from Sister Sledge. The hell does Sister Sledge have to do with Walmart? He also posed with a $1 million check from the company. It's a donation for memorial to the Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr., to build a national mall in Washington. Hmm. Young took part in the prep rally and to his new position as a paid corporate cheerleader for Walmart, a role that has perplexed some of his longtime civil rights colleagues who have accused him of going over to the enemy. Enemy hell? He's working for Satan. Walmart is Satan. Hello? All right. Here's some information and some news out of Ritchie, Florida. Sheriff's deputies investigating two stabbings took a man into custody late this afternoon after more than a three-hour standoff at his mobile home, where Nazi flags were displayed on the outside. Pasco County Sheriff's deputies called SWAT teams after trying to serve a search warrant at the trailer, which had been a site of neo-Nazi activity in the past. Neo-Nazis operating out of a trailer. Who would have thought? Jeez, people. You didn't need to call the SWAT team. Just get someone from their weather channel to down there, knock on the door, and tell them there's a tornado headed that way. It would have been out like that. Speaking of weather, <clears throat> young Hurricane Katrina refugees living now in Texas scored considerably worse on a statewide standardized exam than Texas children and thousands of them could be held back in that grade. Teachers and state officials blame the low scores on New Orleans' poor school system and the trauma of being abruptly uprooted from their homes. No, not really. And possibly that some of them were put in the wrong grade after arriving in Texas with no records. Imagine being classified dumber than a Texan. Imagine being able to speak worse than our president, George W. Bush. That's, that's sad. And that's the news. I'm G Power, and we'll see you on the radio. Crazy news.